Hello everyone, welcome back to another Python tutorial, and this time I'll be continuing with my recent trend of doing NumPy tutorials. And this time I'll be teaching you guys the concatenate function. So, concatenate basically adds two different arrays, or however many you like, together in whatever dimension you choose. And that's based on the axis, and I'll be explaining that later. But first, let's import NumPy as NP. And for my specific example that I'm going to show off in this video, I'll just import random. And you'll see that being used very soon. Now, they're all gray right now, but once we use them or refer to them, we'll get them to like pop up in color. All right, first, let's make two arrays to demonstrate how we're going to concatenate them together. So mp.array that basically sets whatever list you have inside of here into a numpy array so it's going to remove the commas which dictate what type it is what type of variable it is all right so let's use list comprehension for this we can do random dot rand int we're not going to do decimals because that's a little bit confusing or it's overly complicated so we'll just do integers for i in range, let's just do five, a small number. And then we'll put that inside of another list comprehension. All right. Or a pair of square brackets. Let's just do j in range three. All right. So let's print a and out now. Yeah, so we get an array with five columns and three rows. And of course, you see that there's no commas here, meaning that it has become a NumPy array. All right, now we can make B our other array, which is going to be the same dimensions. Whoops. All right, I'll just delete this part. We don't have to change the variable names because they're just used for iteration. And we can print B here instead. Now we'll see our two arrays. As you can see, here they are. Now we're going to concatenate them with a pretty simple function, actually. So let's set the one that's concatenated, the two of them together, to be C. And then we can do NP dot concatenate you can see it right there in this auto uh, auto correct or whatever it's called oh it's autocomplete actually all right so now inside of here you're gonna put first the names of the two arrays you're gonna put together or concatenate a and B of course the order matters here um, Whatever you put first is going to be on the left or on the top, depending on which way you're going to concatenate them together. So you can see here, you can put them together like sideways. So like this one can, the bottom one can go to the right of the first one. Or, you know, B can go to like the actual bottom of the first one. And that changes based on which one goes first. Like if you do A first, then A is going to be referred to as the one that's in like the left or the top. Now for the axis. And we can set this equal to either 0 or 1 for 2D arrays. You likely won't run into that many situations where you'll do a number that's over 1. Because then you'll have many dimensions. And you don't see that a lot of the time. So let's just see what happens when we do axis equals zero. And of course, zero is the default. So what's going to happen? Oh, wait, we didn't print that out. All right, print C. OK, so this is A, what I've highlighted. And then this is B. And this is C. So you can see here when axis is zero, it stacks all the rows on top of each other. And that's actually what axis equals zero means. When axis is zero, that refers to rows. And when it's one, 
Let's see what happens in that case. Run the program. It refers to the columns. It's going to put all the columns together. So it's going to be wider. And it's kind of difficult to understand at first. Like, why is it 0 and why is it 1? But if you think about it, well, I mean, 1 and 0 are kind of chosen arbitrarily. But if you think about the x and y plane, x goes horizontally. And so you can think of it like it's 0, I guess. And then y is what you think of afterwards. It's usually the output. So you can think of it as 1. That's how I remember it. But it might take some time to get used to because you might not know what axis means. That's about it. Thank you guys for watching this video and see you guys next time.